Hey everyone, this is a quick video about uh, how to take a stuck drive shaft that's seized in the power head out when you're pulling and pulling and it won't come out. Um, this motor here wasn't really pumping a lot of water out, so I wanted to go check the impeller on it. And uh, when I went to go pull the gearbox off of the rest of the motor, um, the drive shaft ended up being stuck in there still and it was seized in the power head and I tried penetrating oil, I tried liquid wrench and I sprayed it for three or four days letting the power, the motor sit upside down and letting it really soak in there. Uh, it didn't really seem to do anything because it was just too corroded I guess and it just was not coming out. Um, and anyways, so what I decided to do was try and find a different way to get the drive shaft out. Um, and as you can see, this is the drive shaft right here. And yeah, typically what happens is this is the part that goes into the power head. And as you can see, it's kind of rusty and it just gets really corroded and seized into the power head and really makes it a nightmare to get out. So what I did was I actually wrapped some heavy duty, really thin rubber sheeting um, over this drive shaft just so that it doesn't get damaged at all. Because if there is any damage where one of the seals um, pushes up against, then your gear oil will leak gear oil out or you'll get salt water in your gearbox. But, uh, yeah, essentially, um, I came up with this little idea. I've seen different things on YouTube where guys had uh, other clamps um, similar to this. Other people used clamps sort of similar to this one. It's on their own. But, uh, anyways, what I decided, I didn't think that was a good idea because if you're clamping it on, against the metal you can get scratches and you can make marks but this one that I've made up uh, not only does it protect where it clamps on but it protects if you're hammering down on these clamps too see what I did was I hammered down there and really put force on it so what I'll do is I'll show you Essentially, just one sec, let me get that in there. So yeah, as you can see, it's just lightly sitting in there now. But what I was doing was I left it in there and then I would hammer down, obviously as straight as possible so I don't try and bend that drive shaft and I would hammer down, boom, 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 boom. And as the hammer goes down, when you miss a little bit, it hits here and it doesn't damage it. It just hits that little rubber part. But uh, I literally hammered down on this thing for probably about five full minutes, just hammering down as hard as I could. And I even, um, just one sec. I even held it. I would use one hand like this as a backing so when I did hammer down it wouldn't hurt the back of my hand and was also holding it straight so it doesn't bend it at the top. But I would hold this yellow cloth and hammer down on those clamps and like I said it took about five full minutes but eventually it came out. Um, I was kind of worried that it wasn't going to come out, but I was like, you know what, I'm just going to keep trying. Like, it's eventually probably going to come out. And I was so happy when this came out because it's you, you can't get the water pump key and the water pump all together unless this is out of the power head. So, just some ideas for you guys. I know sometimes you can get in a little bit of a crunch and uh, you don't really know what to do but uh, I found that this way worked excellent and uh, 
you know. I wrapped this rubber piece around about, you know, I think it's about two or three times. And then I put it about these three clamps just to ensure that it doesn't slide when you're hitting it. So that all the force pulls pulls down on the part that's in the power head and uh, not this rubber piece that I made up. But yeah, what I'm planning to do is I'm going to clean this all up a little bit. Maybe use a, a brass brush or something and uh, clean it all up and then put lots of grease so that it hopefully doesn't get stuck in there again for the next person. But uh, yeah, I plan to sell this one anyway. So just some ideas. Thanks guys.